let's talk about the uh, the the marathon that's coming up, Fort Smith Marathon coming up um, on September 25th. Something new this year, and we really want to point this out that the start and finish is at UA Fort Smith. Talk yeah. about that for just a second. Well, um, you know, first of all, we have this great asset in our city. The campus is a beautiful area. It gives us a lot of parking for the participants where, you know, when you're downtown, it's a little bit limited. Um, but also we have a road that's already closed off. Kincaid has been closed off for a few years, so we don't have to worry about closing down a road uh, in order to start, start, set up our start finish. So um, we just thought this was a really good opportunity with the restart of the marathon to move the start line, to kind of give it a fresh new look. All right, so the course is laid out and there's three different events here. Of course, you got the full mm -hmm. marathon, the half and the relay. Um, yeah. Describe all three of those. Yeah, so the um, the marathon is really gonna go all over the city. So anybody who runs it, who wants to take their time, that they're gonna get a good tour of the city. Um, we're gonna go through the Uper Lane area up to Mile Tree and then down Mazard uh, into Chaffee Crossing. Uh, so I'll get to see a little bit of that. Down through Ben Garen, uh, up 45 to Old Greenwood and then down Cliff and they get to see Old Jane Lynn and Jane Lynn Road. And then we'll, we'll send them downtown. They'll, they'll, they'll actually uh, pass by Riverfront that you know they go down a come up river front go back down b and then head back to the finish line up grand so um that one's really going to give them a good tour of the different parts of the city the half marathon is going to split off at uh dallas and mazard and head back down free ferry you know kind of go through that Upper lane uh neighborhood and then back down free ferry and then head downtown they're actually going to cut off on 13th street then head up to grand and back to the finish line and then the relay follows the uh, marathon route and the relay is where you have four different runners on a team, yes. so to speak, take part. Yes. Yeah. So th those are always fun to watch because, uh, you know, I think someone try to compete with those top marathon runners, see if they kind of keep up with them. Um, but we have four relay stops around this, or actually three re relay stops around the city. And, um, you know, we have a lot of different teams on that. We have some that are just out there to have fun and some who are there to compete. And, and that's the same for all of our races. You know, you get that, that wide range of people. So it's, it's kind of fun to watch those relays. Before we talk about how to sign up, where are the runners coming from this year? Well, we obviously Fort Smith, we have a good number. We have over 100 coming from Fort Smith and something like 150 or so coming from the Fort Smith area and into Oklahoma. But we actually have people come from 17 other states outside of Oklahoma and Arkansas and one other country. So uh, that, that, that's pretty exciting to get some people from outside this area to come and uh, see Fort Smith. And even, you know, from Arkansas, we're getting people from like uh, Little Rock. And I think we have some from West Memphis, but on the other side of the state and the other side of Oklahoma. So people who might not come to this area. All right. Is it too late to, to register? How, and how do you do that? So it's not too late to register. Uh, you can register up to midnight on uh, Friday. Uh, that'd be the 23rd. And you go out to fortsmithmarathon.org and um, there's a registration link from there. You go ahead and register. Um, we'd love to see more people out there. You could also use that same link in order to find the volunteer link in order to sign up to volunteer. And then the packet pickup, that's always a fun time. When is that going to be? So that's going to be on Saturday, uh, the, the 24th, and it's going to be at the Wyndham Fort Smith. They're actually our presenting sponsor and our host hotel. and. It's it's going to run from 10 to 6. Well, actually, the packet pack pickups are going to run from 10 to 6, but we're going to have an expo. Uh, mm -hmm. with vend we're going to have um, about 20 vendors there, uh, including True Grit Running Company, the local uh, running store, and, and uh, Junkhead Headband, which is another one of our sponsors. Um, so it'll give the runners the opportunity to kind of see some different things there. And so that's going to be running from 10 to 6, but packet pickup will stay up until 7 for the people who need to come in late pickup. And then right. race, race day pickup. One thing we always have had to talk about, and it's it's sad to say that you have to talk about this, um, but the but traffic is going to be delayed in some places, especially for those who go to church. Yeah. Um, it's always been look, just have patience for that Sunday. Yeah, and and we we're working with Time Striping, who's who's also one of our sponsors, who's helping us with the course setup with the cones and some of the signage. Um, and we're going to try to pick up the, that course as fast as possible. So we're going to follow that, that, that last runner, but not to the point where they feel like we're pushing them, but, um, we're going to follow them and try to pick up as fast as possible. So we do ask people to 
leave a little extra time. We contacted all the churches on the route to let them know that, hey, that Sunday you might might want to leave a little extra time. And some of them are actually doing some water stops or some things for us. So that's that, that's always great. Um, but we will have some signs. There are going to be some streets like Free Ferry where if you're trying to go westbound Free Ferry, it's going to be very difficult because we're basically have a lane closed down. Uh, we just ask for you to look for the runners, to be cautious of them, and, and to be safe, because this is a big thing for the city. It brings money into the city, um, and as we grow this, yes, it, it, it's going to be a little bit of pain on Sunday morning, but it does help our economy. And there, like you mentioned, there are some churches that really have a lot of fun with this, and even neighborhoods, there's yeah. there, the folks in those neighborhoods stand out there and, and encourage yeah, and, and, and we, we encourage neighborhoods to do that because it, it, is, it is fun to, to watch them run because you will see a wide range of people. You're going to see the elite runners who are going to fly by and, and finish the half marathon, you know, faster than most people would even think about doing. Um, and then you see some that are maybe just starting their running journey. This might be their first half marathon marathon. And you're going to see ages from like 20 up to 75. So it's, it's always fun. And, and, and the runners enjoy the encouragement. And some of them, it's almost like a uh, vacation forum. They'll actually stop and take pictures. So if you have some fun stuff going on, you know, they, they have fun too. So we hope that the community will get involved and um, just kind of go out there and it's going past a lot of neighborhoods. So you could just walk down to the end of your street. Funny that 90% of the runners probably don't care what time they get or a timed event. They want to have some fun out there. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is fun because, you know, you'll, you'll see them post pictures like uh, if they go out to um, Tulsa, Oklahoma City with some of the fun things they have on there and they're like, hey, look, I found a gorilla out here, you know, so it, it's just a lot of fun for some of them and, and it's a way of being active and having fun and, you know, if, if it gets people interested in doing it, we do have a strong running community here and they, they can start doing it just for fun. Yeah. All right, Carrie, thank you so much. Have a great time on that Sunday. Hopefully some Nice, cool weather for all the runners out there. Yeah, you, you need to talk to Matt and tell him the, the, the Monday weather needs to come on Sunday. We, we would appreciate that, but um, it, it's looking a little bit better than it is today. Yeah. Carrie, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, we're going.